What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be making a beat for Drake and Lil Wayne. They just put out a track on Lil Wayne's mixtape. It was really clean. I like the beat a lot. I like the song in general. And so yeah, we made a beat similar to that. I recorded the video. No audio. <laughs> so I'm just gonna break down how I made it um, because I ended up changing a lot post recording anyway. But before we hop straight into it, I just bought a new PC for streaming on Twitch. So make sure you go check out my Twitch. I've been streaming out there recently. And make sure you go check out my other socials like Instagram and Twitter, where I post like funny content, placements and stuff like that, which is just songs with artists that I help make. Without further ado, let's hop straight into it. All right, so the other day I asked you guys to send in loops in my Discord channel and a bunch of you guys sent some loops in. Within the first few minutes, we got something crazy. We got a bunch of crazy loops, so I was checking them out, and then this is one that really kind of struck my ear. Beautiful. crazy just a lot of emotion very dark eerie vibes kind of like a toronto dark night vibe perfect for drake this is what we ended up doing with it i'm gonna play you guys just a little bit of the beat and then i'm gonna break down each segment and what i did specifically show you guys everything on the screen jordan what the fuck Uh. and uh yeah there's a little change up here but we'll get to that later and we also reversed so we added some cool stuff but we'll explain all that then we kept this original pitch with the sample and then i went to the sample went to audio editor aka edison and then we just went to the sample rate up here right clicked it and then we changed the sample rate to 5000 and then we got this filtered sound <laughs> That filter really just takes out unnecessary frequencies. The higher frequencies kind of get cut and it's super clean. We put that in the intro and what that does is it gives this filter kind of closed off feel for the intro. And then when it drops, sounds like it's kind of hiding under a blanket. So these are the vocals that we were given and we kind of chopped them up. So we took the beginning part, took this part out. And then we just repeated the intro here. We took this part, left that in. Left that part in as well. And then we just repeated that. And yeah, that's how we got the vocal chops. We layered it over the main melody, which is just... It's a cool little piano. With ambience. Let me turn the reverb off. We added this cool rim. And then I was like, I kind of want something to be different here because this is cool, but I want something to really grab attention and just kind of do what feels right, like feels natural to me. And that's a big piece of what's going to make you different from other people is just whatever you hear in your head and whatever is naturally like kind of appearing to you creatively is what's going to make you different from other people. I added this reverse snare, rim snare thing. It's kind of a, just a perk that I found. I just reversed it, shortened the length and trimmed it a little bit. And then this is what that sounds like. And then we add the little hi-hats. It sounds a little choppy right now, but when you add the hi-hats and stuff in, it'll get a little better. So we added this cool little hi-hat pattern here. Super basic, just has a decent amount of bounce. Super repetitive. And then we added this hi-hat right here to kind of emphasize this little, just this bounce. crazy already then we added the bass line i like the simplicity of that and then we added this kick pattern on top
so my idea going into this was this little triplet pattern right here is really just kind of what makes it a little bit different and then you notice how everything's still triplets and it all just ties in this will lead back into this kick making it three kicks so they're all just in patterns of threes it's just the timings are changed but you don't want to change them too much so you see that these are all the same timing and then these also repeat but but just not as frequently just to give it a little spice in there and then we added a, a little hi-hat roll <laughs> For the hi-hats, we added some little looperator. The looperator really doesn't do anything but silence this right here, so I could have taken that out, but I wouldn't have found that without trying looperators. So things don't always have to work out exactly how they're meant to, can just work out differently. Yeah, after that, we added this cool little open hi-hat. I really love this little roll thing that we do with it. Kind of gives some older vibe. <laughs> Originally, I planned to just have one occasional open hi-hat come in every now and then, but I put one in, and then I was like, wait. As soon as I put it in, I heard this little triple roll, and I was like, wait, that sounds kind of drakey. I don't know what that means, but like, it worked out. So onto this little switch up, we kind of changed out the bass line. We also took out the kick in this area, and we slowed down the hi-hats, so the hi-hats are sounding like this now, instead of sounding like... And then we added this bass line right here, which sounds like following the kick pattern, basically. But instead, we kept this little roll right here. Added, we shortened these notes for a little bit more bounce. And I was really liking the bounce here, so I just repeated it. Thought it'd be catchy. And then this is what it sounds like. cutout section kind of lets the vocal shine and it's a cool little transition back into the original drums then what we did after this was we took the main part right here and we selected it like this just right click drag then we went to the master and arm the recording by clicking the circle making it red and then you press alt plus r it's going to bring up this recording press start and then it gives you this little cool and then it gives you this cool little waveform it's just a recording of that, but it's all one file thing, so you can manipulate it how you want very easily. And then we added, uh, we just changed it up. We just flipped it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So we pitched it down. Then we also stretched it. That sounds cool, but it's not really like anything crazy. So I reversed it and I was listening to it. And this little bounce thing that happens after the intro, nasty. Ugh. That's what just gives. It gives old Drake vibes, and I love it. So yeah, that's it. Make sure you guys go check out my new sound kits if you're looking for new sounds. Or if you're wanting to become a producer and you don't know what sounds to start with, make sure you go check out my sound kits. Link for all of that in the description. And make sure you go check out my Twitch and my other socials. Link for that will also be in the description. And let me know what you guys want to see from me next. I'm planning to do a lot of other stuff. I'm going to catch you guys next video. Here's the final beat.